realize I ran into a bit of a problem with my garden. Uh, apparently, a lot of my plants got reset. Uh, apparently that's a known issue. I tried, like, I, I wound up using cheese to bring them back, but they did all get reset. So there's no strawberries today and now I'm sad. But anyways, hello everybody, Salt Sweet Ren here, and welcome back to more of the Sims 4 Horse Ranch series, uh, Brags to Rancher series, I should say, because that's what I'm calling it. Uh, this is a series where uh, we're following Vera Navarro as she is trying to figure out, like, how to actually get a roof over her, her head, get make a decent life for herself, and this horse Moonlight over here. Um, she did, like, wake up on the shore of this river over here with amnesia, being kind of nudged awake by a horse, and, like, is trying to figure out, like, where did she come from, but also is more, like, invested in trying to get, like, a livable space for herself, because this place is kind of nice, you know? And, uh, so far everything seems to be going mostly okay, I believe. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? What's going on? Oh, you're hungry. Yeah, uh... After you're done with that, why don't you grab yourself a bite to eat? Some granola or something? At some point, some of these plants need to just... I need... I really wish that, like, the, my plants hadn't all reset. I don't know what caused it. I was trying to, like, do, like, some troubleshooting for what I think is a broken mod. But at the same time, I don't know. Um... So some of you guys, uh, if, if you guys play The Sims 4, you might sometimes pop into create a sim, and if you do, sometimes you might want to add skin details to your sim. For a long time, I had a randomize button by skin details, and now it's gone. And while I was trying to do some troubleshooting, and while I've been like asking around, like being like, hey, does anybody know like what like what mod this is, or like what like does anybody know if this needs an update, or was it a feature that was removed from the game? A lot of people think. Nobody, like, a lot of people didn't even know that was a thing. Even if, if they double-checked their games, saw they did have the button, they didn't, they didn't install any mod that they knew would add a button. So, it is causing a lot of confusion for me. I, I genuinely want to figure, this out, figure out this mystery. If you guys happen to have, like, a mod or something that adds the randomized skin details button to your game, I would great love to know what mod it is, if you even know what mod it is, or if you don't have the button, that's also kind of an interesting thing to keep in mind. Because I'm trying to figure out this mystery. Like, it is- it's gone from me being frustrated at the feature I lost, to me genuinely wanting to figure out what it- like, okay, wh where did this come from? What is causing it? Why do some people have this and some people don't? Is it a mod? Is this really just like a base game feature that just disappeared on me? What is happening here? There's something going on, and I want to get to the bottom of it. Okay, and our horse really needs attention. So we're, we'll give her some in a moment. Uh, let's talk to her. Let's get stable gossip. Uh, I believe that there are some specific ways to, like, work on temperament. Talk about social life. And... Discuss the secret lives of animals. Be sure to eat while you're at it. Yeah. Once you're done chatting with Moonlight, you can go ahead and eat. Help the horse in need from interacting with a needy horse. Oh, there's something truly special about being able to help your horse when they're feeling the need for some sim loving. Aw. Okay, well, let's get- let's get fed, and we'll also hand-feed her, because she loves to be hand-fed. Um... Uh, would it just be horse care? Yeah. Uh, we'll give her some hay. Oh, and she peed. I noticed that she hasn't been, like... We haven't been getting any horse manure lately? Or if we are, it's somewhere I can't see it. But yeah, she hasn't been pooing lately. Instead, did you just put your granola? Eat the granola, please. Okay, well, good enough. Yeah, take care of that needy horse. Okay. Well, because there's not much we can do, I do want to check on our on our nectar. I almost called it wine, but it's not wine; it's nectar. And let's see, we have some lightly aged apple nectars. 
let's go ahead and let's sell one of the two. Or no, let's sell both of the ones that are lightly aged for now. Because we are getting some actual money now. And then we have some grape nectar, two of which are lightly aged, and another two that are not yet aged. Let's go ahead, sell the ones that are lightly aged. I know it's not like the most money we can get, but we will finally age them eventually. We will finally age them eventually. But until then, I would like to... Hang on, we got like a... One fulfilled, Vera checked some... One more task off the list of things that she wants to do. Okay. Uh, we want to make an excellent bottle of nectar. I'm gonna pin that. Unpin the fact that we want to breed Moonlight with another horse. I don't know where another stallion or someone might be. Encourage to... If I say encourage to breed with... There's only two horses, and we'd have to meet them first. Gideon, Chavoy, and Romeo. We haven't met either of these horses yet. So we really ought to go into town. There's- oh, there's Connie Boone. There is something I want to do, though, which is... Uh, community jobs. Uh, we can haul a neighbor's manure cargo- Manure cargo, uh, horse riding and endurance skills, increased payouts. That could be decent. There's a whole bunch of different community jobs we can do, and I kind of want to do one. Because it might be nice. Each of them take four hours, and many of them require a horse. Uh, these two, a guided noon trail ride and give horse riding lessons for adults. These, these are like the ones that have more of a payout. Huh. I don't think we're going to get the 410, but at the very least, we could make a decent amount. So I'm going to try and do... Let's do a guided noon trail ride. It's almost noon. We'll take Moonlight with us. That seems like fun, huh, sweetie? Would you like to do that? Okay. I think Moonlight's going to follow us. Are we just walking the entire way? Oh. We've started a guided trail ride, okay. And we're done. And we got 270 simoleons from that, nice, okay. And both us and Moonlight are, oh no, poor Moonlight, she's not, she's got low fun, oh dear. But improved our horse riding skill, Moonlight's endurance skill, so that's good. Uh, Vera was able to ensure all the horses stayed happy on the trail, earning a bonus tip, okay. Because we're a horse lover. Um, let's let's check on Moonlight first. I know we really need to use the bathroom, but let's let's check on our let's check on our dear Moonlight. Shouldn't take too long. Make sure our horse is doing okay. What's wrong, Moonlight? You doing good, sweetie? Oh yeah, low fun. Uncomfortable from feeling bored. Uh we'll tell her a joke. And then, where's the ball? There's the ball. Um, let's ask her to play with the ball. And then we will go and fertilize the bush. And we have enough, I think we could finally get like at least a small roof over our heads, maybe. That'll be fun if I can get, if I can get a roof over Vera's head. That'll be good. Oh look, your fun just immediately went up, but we'll tell you to play with the ball anyway, just to be sure. There we go, Moonlight should come and play with the ball. And we will go and fertilize the bush. While she is doing that, I am going to find a spot to actually build a sort of... Not not huge cabin type place, but I should probably put like I could put like I might move uh moonlight stuff over here. I'll move the ball too eventually, but for now I think I'm gonna put the house over here. That's my thought.
well, I'm not sure how much of a house this is going to actually wind up being, but let's get a door on here at least. We can get some wallpaper, or let's see, is there siding? Rustic horizontal planking on the outside, presumably. Or we could do timber siding. Log siding. There's there's lots of fun new sidings, and I'm like, oh, what do I want to do? I'm gonna go with the rustic vertical though. Just sticking with that. On the inside. We'll just do that, I suppose. And I cannot do a floor. Well, that's fine. Let me at least get a light in here, I think. Just sticking with the typical light there. At some point, we'll fill this up. And we'll make it, like, actually a house. But for now, it's just this. No, I'm gonna actually move the tub inside. I'll move the sleeping bag inside. And I will move the cooler inside. The bench I'll put over here. The fertilizer bush is still gonna be outside because it's a bush. And we're back to, we're back to basically having nothing. Well, at least Moonlight's having fun. Anyways, I think we should work on some more nectar stuff. So let's go ahead, craft ourselves an apple nectar. We only have 16 simoleons left after I got those ingredients, oh no! Well, once I can furnish this decently, like, I'm not expecting to have, like, a super fancy place, but once I have, like, a separate bedroom and a separate bathroom, I think I might start looking into maybe trying to get some help from other sims around here. Or I kind of do want to send her out to meet other people. I think that'd be nice. She, she barely talks to anybody outside of Moonlight. She doesn't really go anywhere besides the ranch. Partly because she has anxiety if she leaves the ranch, but at the same time, I do think it's about time for her to go out and start meeting other sims again. She keeps getting calls from Danny and Davila. Was that her name? Danny and Davila? I, I thought, yeah, Danny and Davila. I, I say that, and it sounds like I'm saying Danny and Davila, and like, wait, what? <laughs> Anyways, I do want her to go out and actually meet some other sims. Maybe not strictly here, but even like in other places. You know, I w you know where I do want to go? You know where I really want to go? There's a cave I want to check out. There's there's a cave I want her to check out. I'm gonna say like maybe like in passing, like while riding her horse, she heard like some rumors about like some strange cave where like who knows what's inside? I want her to go there. Apparently, from what I've heard, it's by the Gooseberry place. 
So we're gonna... So let's take Moonlight with us, and we'll go check out wherever this cave may be. Oh, Moonlight's got low energy. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Okay, there's not really much reason for us to actually go up here, but it is supposed to be up by Galloping Gulch. That's the thing. So let's stop by the Big Sky Reach. We're not actually going to be renting the place, but we're going to stop by there because that's where the path we're going to- We're going to say a path leads up there, and then from there, we're going to see if we can find wherever this cave is. Alright, Big Sky Reach. How are you feeling? Still low energy. Um... Well, dang, this place is pretty nice. Ah, oh, boy, this is a very nice place, oh my gosh. And then there's like down here, I really want to find where everything goes. Like, I don't know my way around, I'm getting lost just trying to figure this out. Where is this cave? Everybody talks about this cave, and I have no idea where this cave is. Oh, and this is the spot where you can actually swim, except that I've also declared that uh, Vera is afraid of water, so I'm not gonna have her swim. Where is this cave? Wait, hold on, what's this? Unknown horse! Did the horse die here? Hello? Unknown horse? I am... What? Where did this come from? Okay. I am baffled and now I'm a little nervous. And, oh, there's like a broken bridge over here. Oh. Oh, wait, isn't it, like, is, there's some lore for this area, isn't there? Oh, there's the cave, and I we'd have to cross the river to get to it. Explore Dreadhorse Caverns. Okay. I'm gonna say that Vera's doing some exploring because she's heard of this cave. Oh wait, she's changed into her swimsuit, I think. Yeah, she changed into her swimsuit. Meanwhile, Moonlight is falling asleep. Okay, you take care of yourself, Moonlight. You're feeling cold too, the temperature. You're wearing your swimsuit. Like, why are you wearing your swimsuit for this? This is shallow water that you can walk in. Why are you wearing your swimsuit? I don't understand. Why the swimsuit? Of all things, I'm changing your outfit out of the swimsuit. I'm sorry, I I have to. Here, better outfit. Go explore the cave. And we will see what what all is inside, I suppose. Let's do this. Oh, and you really need a bath, huh? Oh dear. Vera discovered a treasure chest. Should Vera open it or leave it be? I think Vera is pretty curious at this point, so I think she's going to open it. She wouldn't wonder why it, she wouldn't wonder if something is trapped. The D&D nerd in me is thinking, oh yeah, the, like, this, like, I've seen some clips of this place. It's based on D&D. You always have to check for traps before opening chests. It could be, like, a monster out to get you. But this is also... A horse ranch, a horse ranch Sims game, and Vera doesn't know any anything about that quite yet. So I think she's gonna be curious and wonder. Oh, what's inside this? Vera lifts the lid of the chest gingerly, but is shocked as a snake pops out to Vera's hand. The sneaky snake chases Vera out of the cave. Why does it always have to be snakes? 
That is a good question. Why does it always have to be snakes? We braved Dreadhorse Karens and lives to tell the tale. Oh my goodness. You did not have a successful trip in that cave, did you? I'm sorry, sweetie. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Well... Uh, you are getting hungry, and you have low hi Low hunger. Why don't you... You and Moonlight go home. Send Moonlight home, and then you go home after. Why are you changing into your swimsuit? You're gonna get the whole cold thing again. I will forcibly change you out of your swimsuit. Don't think I won't. Let's do this outfit, because we haven't seen this one yet, and it's cold, so... Here we go. Alrighty, Moonlight, sending you home. And we're off to go home, too. I'm gonna get my cat's butt out of my face, too, because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Where are you going? Oh my gosh, is that Victor Fang? It is. He's playing a major part in my in one of my other challenges. Now he's here. Of course. Where are we going? This is like taking forever. And we're home. Let's go ahead. Hand feed Moonlight because she's going to want that. Horse care, let's hand feed her some of the prairie grass that we've harvested. Uh, we'll brush her coat. And... I guess that we will take care of our own needs after that. How are you feeling, Moonlight? Get you some food. Oh yeah, that's a sweet girl. And then take care of your own needs. Finally, in an actual house. And Moonlight is eating some of the prairie grass over here. Good for you, sweetie. <gasps> Finally have some of the horse manure again! Okay, before we do that, we're gonna put that in our inventory. Wait, wait a second, I, I left my game for a moment, came back. Moonlight's in our house? Moonlight? Oh dear. <laughs> it didn't occur to me that horses could literally enter buildings. Will I have to lock the door for Moonlight? I'll probably set up like a separate barn or stable or something, but I guess Moonlight wants to hang out indoors with us. Nope, she le she went outside to take a nap. Okay, sure. All right, and we are awake and need to really use the bathroom, but that is fine. We shall do that. Go and fertilize this bush. And a bunch of the strawberries have decided to reset themselves. Because of course they did. Why wouldn't they? Uh, we'll go ahead and harvest everything that can be harvested. We will fertilize this one with some normal quality horse manure. We can actually make some nectar with all this. So that's always a good sign. We'll sell the carrots. We are going to sell the carrots for sure. Any of these, not yet aged, lightly aged. We will sell one of the, or we'll actually leave it be for a little bit. Oh, they're both lightly aged, okay. 
And then we've got some lemons. Okay, you're feeling hungry. And Moonlight uh, has low social. Let's go ahead, hug her, uh, hand feed her, because she's going to be feeling the loneliness. Tell a joke. Rub her neck. Let's just give her all the love and attention, because she wants it and she needs it. Oh dear, this is very awkward. Are you doing okay? I don't think she was very happy about the fact that you had your arms very glitchy, glitchy like that. I don't blame her. I didn't like that either. We can name the ranch? Oh, it just occurred to me that's a thing! Oh, I don't know what I'd name this ranch, though. Does anybody know- does anybody have any ideas for a good ranch name? I've never been good at naming stuff, like, ever. So if y'all have any good ideas, I would love you guys to let me know. It says this is in use? Is this in use? Nobody's using it. There's no horse assigned to this bed, but it's in use. I'm confused. I think between episodes I'm gonna have her craft a little bit of nectar. Seems like a good idea to me. And then next episode, we'll see what else we can do. I want to send her into town and actually meet some sims. I think that'd be nice. But uh, for now, I'm gonna leave you guys off here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe out there, everybody.